of the day is so, this gonna be the easiest quickest meal you done made all week so, you know so far <laughs> look before we get started let's go to do the housekeeping if you haven't subscribed please subscribe comment hit that like button also hit the bell to be notified if you got extra time on your hands go and watch a commercial too for your girl but look y'all we're gonna do a chicken pie pie in the muffin pan you ain't got to do too much to this at all. When I say it's super easy, super easy. Watch this. Let me show you. Get you a get you a muffin pan. This is just a standard little size muffin pan. Make sure you spray it so it won't stick, okay? And what we're going to use is biscuits. I got some Pillsbury biscuits. And let me show you what I'm going to do. I just got one can. If you want to get two cans, that's up to you. But if you're trying to do some stuff cheap and fast, get you one can. And then you just... Split it in half. You see that? Split it in half. Because what we're going to do, we're going to, you know, share amongst ourselves. We're going to go ahead and put it in here. I already split some of them in half because I know you had stuff to do today. So, you know, you just put it in here. And you basically kind of like push it down at the bottom and try to raise it up on the sides like that. Okay. Gonna do it like that. And then I already split some of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here. And you just do it like that. Or if you want to use a whole biscuit, that's up to you. But if you like, dang, I only got one can of biscuit in the refrigerator. What am I going to do? You going to do this. This going to this gonna get it right here. Right here. You don't even have to run down to the store. And then have to fight everybody in that rush hour traffic and stuff. You already, you, we finna get started. But everybody get home. Okay. Let's do that. And I'm going to finish doing these because I know y'all want to see me do all 12. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how we're going to make this mixture. When I say it's super, super easy, it's super easy, okay? I'll be back. Okay, y'all, I'm back and now we're about to make the mixture for the, the pie pies, okay? So now we're going to put, this is like two cups of mixed vegetables. They're from the frozen food section. I think they was like 98 cents, not that much. And I just set it out, let it defrost. So we're gonna put that in now. This is some rotisserie chicken that I shredded up. This is two cups of uh, rotisserie chicken. Yeah, we doing fast tonight, fast, okay? <laughs> and this part is optional. I'm using one cup of shredded cheese. You don't have to put this in yours. I like to put it in mine, okay? Then we're going to put one can of cream of chicken soup in here, okay? One can. One can. When I say quick and easy, that's what I meant. <laughs> Real quick and easy and delicious. Okay, and we're only going to use two seasons. I got a, a half a teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of poultry season. We're going to put that in now. If you don't want to season yours, you don't have to. It's not required. <laughs> then we're going to stir this up. Hold on a second. Let me get this spoon if I can get off in there. Okay, we're going to mix it real good. And no, I know what you're thinking. You say, do we need some chicken broth or something? No, we don't need no chicken broth. <laughs> this is enough. Okay. Stir it up really good. And then we're going to, uh, don't forget, uh, preheat your oven to 350. I probably didn't even tell you. My bad. <laughs> Preheat that oven to 350. Make sure she good and mixed. Okay. Now we're going to get 
our biscuits that we, you know, put in here, smashed up and, you know, do I, you know, don't be trying to mix me up. You know we did. <laughs> then we just gonna put some in each one. Hold on. Wait a minute, one second. Hand has some oil on it from that pan. And we just gonna fill each one like that. like that. Oh, this looks so good. We ain't even cooked it yet. She is cute. And we just gonna fill all of them up. I told y'all this was real easy. And I didn't cook these vegetables. I just let it, well, I let it defrost. I did the defrost in the um the microwave. I did it like that. That's what I did. And this is, like I said, this is rotisserie chicken. And I sprayed this pan real good, so it's gonna slide on up out of here when it's done cooking. Okay, and I'm just gonna finish filling these up. And like I said, uh, oh shoot, put it on, uh, put your oven on 350. We're gonna cook this for about 20 minutes or until you see them edges is good and brown. About 20 minutes or until you see them edges are good and brown. And that's it. You see how simple this is. That's real simple. Hold on. I'm almost finished. If you want to garnish it with anything on top, you know, you can make it your own. You can do whatever. And if you don't want any meat in here, you can you can make it a veggie. You can make it a veggie. Ooh. And I still have... Let me put a little... Let it now. I still have a this much left. So it makes quite a bit. If you wanna get if you wanna use more than one pan. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, so I see y'all in a minute. I'll be back. Hey y'all, I'm back and I'm finished with this chicken pot pie muffin. When I tell you, she cute. She cute. I ain't gonna look, I ain't gonna hold you. Gotta look at her. See for yourself. Look at her. <laughs> she cute. She is cute. Quit playing with her. Quit playing with her. Y'all, and you can you can fix this however you want. If you don't want no chicken, just use our vegetables. If you want the whole biscuit, use the whole biscuit. That's half of a biscuit on each one and whatever seasons you want to use i just you know wanted to use some poultry seasoning some black pepper but if you want to put some seasoned salt or some complete or some tonis just go on and do you do yours like you want to do it but that's how i did mine <laughs> yeah thank y'all so much for tuning in with me i really really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe comment hit that like button also hit the bell to be notified Y'all, please stay safe out there, and I will see you again next time. I love y'all. Bye-bye.